Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for y'all in my Hobonichi Cousin, and this week I'm going to be using the Groovy Winston collection from my shop. I have both sheets of the Hobonichi Cousin set right here, and I also have the Bullet Journal Inspired kit here. I really like this kit, I think it's super cute, but I will say it's pretty far out of my comfort zone. I basically never use orange in my planner, but I think this is going to be really fun. I wanted to pull in some washies to go with this spread, but I don't have any orange washi that matches because most of my orange washi is like neon orange, so I didn't get to do that, but I do think I'll have enough deco just from the bullet journal kit, so hopefully we won't need that washi anyway. And then for my pens this week, to write on the planner paper, I'm using my Twisby Eco Fine Nib. And to write on sticker paper, I'm using my Zebra Strassa Grand in the gold barrel. I will link both these pens, this planner, my shop, and any other shops I mentioned in the description bar below in case you want to know where anything is from. And there will also be a coupon code listed for my shop if you want to check out anything from my shop. So let's go ahead and get started putting stuff down. I think I'm going to do the date covers first and get those out of the way. So on the day I'm filming this video, it's actually over a month after this week actually happened, so I'm super behind on videos. I think I'm going to end up skipping a couple weeks just to make up time because I do want to try and be filming and posting fall spreads when fall happens. And if I don't skip spreads, then I'm going to be posting fall spreads like late October when I should be doing Halloween spreads and then I'll never get caught up. So I think I'm going to skip a couple weeks, which is okay because two of the weeks that I haven't planned yet, I was on vacation. And honestly, on vacation, I did pretty much nothing. I was in Florida and I just went to the beach and or the pool every day and we got ice cream and played cards and yeah, we didn't really do anything super exciting. But I do want to use a bunch of my beach and pool stickers. So I'll, I might film one of those vacation weeks and then skip some other week. We'll see what happens. Plus I have some photos and things that I want to put into the video as well. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Here is our last date cover. And while I'm here, I will go ahead and put down the washi as well. I really like how this washi turned out. I'm very curious to see if I have enough stickers of the various colors in this kit to pull in because I'm not the biggest fan of orange so I don't typically buy orange stickers. But hopefully just the multicolor sheets I, I do buy will have the colors that I need. Once I get this washi down, I think I'm going to start putting down stuff from the bullet journal kit just so I don't forget to use that. And some of these pieces are really big, so I want to get them down before I have any other stickers down. Alright, that is that. Now for the bullet journal set... It has these really big deco pieces that are like torn paper, and I do like these, but they are gigantic, so if I'm going to put them down, it's going to have to be right now. Okay, there's that one, and I think I'm going to layer the Winston in the VW bus on top of it like that. Cute. And then this one, I'm not sure if I want to use here or save it for like a daily spread or something. Because hmm. I do want to put a full box in the sidebar. I think I'm going to use the text box one. So let's do that and then we'll see what we're working with. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this off for now, and I want to put down some boxes. Let me see. I don't think any day this week was really 
empty. So I'm just gonna put these wherever I want. I'm gonna put this one on Tuesday. And then I'll put this one on Thursday. And we'll put this one over on the top of Sunday. Okay, and then I have these three, they're not really watercolor, but just, I guess, plain color swatches. And I want to put these on days where I had like a bigger event, kind of like the way I would normally use a half box. So let's see, I have my notebook over here with all my planner notes in it. I think I might put this one on Saturday. Like that. And then the other ones. Maybe on Wednesday. And Monday. Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. All right, I have a little bit of deco that I think I'll just save and use if I have any weird empty spaces in this planner. So what I'm gonna do next is actually fill out my sidebar with my Bible verse for the week and also all the Bible studies I did. So this week's Bible verse was Psalm 3 and verse 3. All right, there's my sidebar, and I do have a little bit of extra room at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is take the Happy Memory Winston off the second sheet of the Hobonichi Cousin Kit, put that down here, and later I'll fill in my top memory from the week. But I think that's about it for my base setup of this spread. So now I'm gonna zoom you in and we'll get started planning. All right, so I put down this swatch or color blob but I actually don't have anything really big going on on Monday, so I think I'm just gonna write Hello Monday in this space, and yeah, just a cute way to start off the week. And then just to add a little bit of interest, I'm going to put down some of the little flower decos that are on the bullet journal sheet. That is really cute. I like it a lot. Okay, now we can start actually planning the week. And the first thing I did on Monday was pack Ashley's lunch. So I was just looking through my collection, as you probably heard, and I was looking for my pack lunch Winstons, but I guess I'm out of those. So instead of that, I'm going to use this pack lunch bag sticker from 4Cat Sticker Co. Alright, and then beneath that, I needed to film a plan with me and also voice over it, edit it, and upload it. So I think I'm going to use a half box for that because it was a lot of a lot of work I needed to get done. I'm gonna use this red half box. And let's grab a filming sticker. Today I'm going to use this sort of reddish 
YouTube Winston. That's from my shop. Okay, below that, I'm going to put down two dot stickers from the kit. And that is just to mark the editing and voiceovering and uploading. Alright, then I wanted to work on formatting some sticker sheets. I'm going to mark that with this orange laptop Winston, again from my shop. Put him right there. So far we're doing good on the matching color stickers, which I'm happy about. Okay, then I had two packages delivered this day. One was from Amazon and one was from Bloom. The Bloom delivery was a planner and I do have a whole video on my channel where I unboxed it and gave my first impressions. So I will link that in the cards if you wanna check it out. I would love to use one of our new Mailman Winston stickers to mark the deliveries, but they definitely do not match the spread, so I'm gonna hold off on those. And instead, I think I'm gonna use this snail mail sticker from Fox and Cactus. Okay, and at the bottom of the day, I think I'm just going to mark reading because I did a few other things this day, but I don't have a lot of room and I don't want the day to look too crowded. So I'm going to finish off the day with one of these skeleton reading stickers from my shop. And that will take us to Tuesday. On Tuesday morning, I had a bunch of filming I wanted to do. So for that... I think I'm going to use this Filming Day script sticker, which is from Piper Paper Company. I mentioned this, I think, in my last Plan With Me, but I guess that shop closed. I tried to go on her website recently, and there's nothing there, and her Instagram is also gone. So I guess it closed, but I don't remember seeing anything about it closing, so... So I wanted to film my six month planner flip that's already up on my channel. I will link it up there as well. And I also wanted to film the unboxing of the Bloom planner that I already mentioned. So I'm gonna mark these with some... Hmm. How do I wanna mark these? I think I'm gonna use some more dots. I will use red this time. And check them off again. All right, then I needed to fill orders. That, again, took up a pretty big chunk of time. So I might put down a box, like this orange box. I 
and also one of the long flag stickers from my shop just to denote that that took up a bunch of time and let me get a work sticker for this day I'm going to use this working girl from a rabbit hole handcraft Okay, and then after work, I had to go to the grocery store and to the post office. So I'm gonna mark that with this little yellow car sticker from Planner Ask. That shop is unfortunately closed now. And then I needed to clean and refill my diffuser. For that, I still have not made myself a full sheet of diffuser stickers. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm just being lazy and or forgetful. But to mark cleaning and refilling my diffuser, I think I'm just going to use this or one of these little star stickers from Paper and Milk. I have a little bit of space at the bottom. I'm going to mark reading right there. I need like a light pink reading sticker because I'm not incorporating very much light pink into this spread yet. So I will use this light pink Reading Winston, and I think I'm even going to put it on a light pink label from the kit. Okay, that takes us to Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I packed Ashley's lunch again. I did that on Thursday too. So I think I'm gonna mark both of those at the same time. For Wednesday, I'm gonna use this little lunch bag sticker from Little Star Plans. And I think on Thursday, I'm gonna use this other lunch bag from Bella Grace Planning. And I wanna put Wednesdays on a label, I think, or yeah, I want to use a circular label. Let's use this one. Not really circular, but rounded. You know what I mean? packed Ashley's lunch and then I did some yoga however I don't know if the yoga stickers I have are gonna match because I think that they're mostly blue oops yeah I have these ones from Kina prints but they're blue and then My Yoga Winston sheet has one left and it's purple, so that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna put down a kettlebell sticker from my shop just to mark exercise in general.
Okay, after that, I spent most of the day designing because I was getting ready for our big anniversary sale that happened at the end of July. So I wanted to design a couple of kits this day. And for that, I think I'm going to use this little guinea pig on a laptop sticker, which when I bought this, the shop was called Sticky Piggies, but I believe she has since rebranded to Little Love Plans. I think that's the right name, but I will link it in the description bar so you can check it out. I'll definitely put the right one down there. Okay, so I wanted to design the Cozy October kit and also the Autumn in the Mountains kit. Felt like a ton of writing. I also needed to order die cuts for the shop anniversary. So I'm gonna put down this asterisk Winston icon that comes with the kit. And then I have this swatchy thing. And I guess on this, I can mark laundry, making dinner, or washing my hair. So I guess I'll pick laundry, because why not? So let's grab a laundry sticker. How about this one from Stick With The Plan Co? It's not orange, but it matches pretty well. And then below that, I'm going to mark making dinner. I made steaks this night. So let's grab a cooking sticker. This one is from Once More With Love. And then the last thing I want to mark for this day is washing my hair. So let me get a wash hair sticker. And as usual, I like to use my little shower Winston. Okay, and then over to Thursday. I did already put down that lunch bag, so I'm going to mark that. Or fill in the space beside it, I should say. After that, I went to the gym. Probably going to mark it the same way I marked it on Wednesday, just with a different color kettlebell. So I'll use orange for this day.
All right, then work this day was all about drawing new stickers. So I'm gonna put down a half box. I think I'm gonna use this one with the flowers on it. And then for my little icon, I'm going to use this guinea pig with a light bulb sticker. This is, again, from what was formerly known as Sticky Piggies, and I believe is Little Love Plans, and will be linked down below. And then after drawing all those new stickers, I wanted to post a sneak peek on Instagram. So I'm going to mark that with this Instagram icon from the kit. In the afternoon, I went for a walk with my sister. So for that, I think I'm going to use like a weather sticker because I remember the weather was really good that day. In fact, I'm going to use the last little sunshine sticker on this sheet. This is from my shop. I made dinner again this night. I made teriyaki chicken wraps. So I'm going to mark that with a different cooking sticker. So yesterday I used that one. So I think I'm going to use this one from Paper and Milk. If I can get it off the sheet. There we go. And at the end of the day, I got a very important delivery of journaling cards, which I needed for my anniversary sale. So I'm going to put that on the scallop label and also get a package sticker. And this package Winston is from my shop. And that will take us over to Friday. So I'm gonna start off Friday by putting down this made it to Friday Winston from my shop because it was a very busy week getting ready for the anniversary sale and I was just super glad that it was finally Friday. Then I went to the gym again. And for this day, I don't really wanna use a third kettlebell, so what are my other options? I have this light pink workout girl sticker. This is from Stick With The Plan Co. I think I'm going to use that instead of a kettlebell. Okay, and then I needed to... Um, actually, I had a bunch of stuff to do, so I think I might just put down a to-do list, and the ones in this kit are shaped like peace signs. It's really cute. So I needed to... Oh, actually, since this took up, like, my whole day, I'm going to take up the smaller 
checklist and replace it with the bigger version from the bullet journal kits. There we go. Okay, so first I needed to back up my files. And then I wanted to file my quarter two sales tax. And then design. And then format those new sheets. And I also wanted to vacuum the apartment. Okay, and then after work, oh, actually, while I was working this day, I was finishing an ebook I'd been listening to throughout the whole week. It was called North or Be Eaten. This is the second book in the Wingfeather saga. And I did finish it on this day. So I'm going to mark that. So that book, I think I gave, I want to say I gave it three stars because the first half was so unbelievably slow. Like I could not get into it at all, even though I really want to read and finish the series. But then it really picked up and the last three or four chapters were super good and I actually cried at the end. So I have conflicting feelings because I really loved the ending and I'm looking forward to the third book. But gosh, the first half of this book was just, ugh, it was rough. I wonder if I had read it myself, if I would have liked it more because one of my problems with this ebook is that it's not narrated by a what would you call it, like a professional narrator. The guy that narrates it is actually the author. And I don't think he does the best job, unfortunately. It's kind of cool, though, because you can tell how much he loves the story and the characters he created. But I just think that maybe if it was read by someone else, I would have enjoyed it more. Oops. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to continue the series, so hopefully it picks up again. So I finished that book, and then I baked banana bread. Very exciting. I'm going to mark that with one of the new banana doodles, which is from my shop. I also took a bath this night, which was wonderful. There's seriously nothing better than a nice, hot, relaxing bath after a long week. And to mark my bath, I'm going to use this little light pink bathtub sticker, which is from Nicole Hutch Designs. Okay, and at the end of the night, I helped my sister design some merch for her YouTube channel. I'm sure y'all have heard me talk about this, but my sister Ashley has her own YouTube channel. I will link it up in the cards if you want to check it out. And she's gotten into designing merch for it, or she wanted to design merch for it, but she does not have a lot of experience with that kind of thing, so I was helping her. And she finally does have some merch available, which is really great, because it took longer than expected to get that done, honestly. But I'm really happy with how everything came out. The quality is really good and it makes Ashley happy. So that's great. And to mark helping Ashley, I'm going to use this little panda sticker from Happy Daya. Is that the first Happy Daya sticker I've used this week? 
I think it is, which is crazy because that's my favorite shop and usually I use a bunch more of her stickers, but that's okay. All right, now we're heading over to Saturday. I do have a weekend banner, but I can't really put it down because of how I put the stickers. At least not at the top, but I'm actually thinking about layering it down here. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that, so great. So I slept in on both Saturday and Sunday, which was great, and I'm definitely going to mark that see if I have orange sleep in stickers. I have this one from Rabbit Hole Handcraft. She's like laying in the bed playing on her phone, which is what I do when I wake up after sleeping in. So I'm going to put that down there. And then I also have this sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. It's kind of like peachy tone, but I think it matches well enough, so I'm going to put that down as well. And then, of course, since I baked banana bread the day before, we had banana bread for breakfast, which was delicious. So I'm going to put that down on Saturday, and we also did that on Sunday, so I'll mark that actually. Um... Yeah, I will mark that on Sunday because I don't have a lot going on on Sunday, so that's perfect. Okay, and then I spent most of the day shopping with my mom and sister, so to mark that, I'm going to use one of our new shopping linsens. They look like this. They are so cute. I actually don't really like to shop that much, but this sticker makes me excited to go shopping. Okay, we also went out to eat, so I'm going to grab a, an eating sticker. And I think I'm going to use this one from Ohana Story because it's pink. And then in the afternoon, I did some reading. I started the fourth book or the third book in the Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place series, which is like a middle grade series that I'm reading right now. It's so adorable. I really like it. I've actually moved on to the fifth book now. And it's still really good. These books were not published when I was a kid. I think they were published in like 2013 or something. So I was way too old to read them at that point, but I'm really enjoying them now. And I think kids would absolutely love them. I'm gonna mark that with this sticker from Rabbit Hole Handcraft. And the last thing I wanna mark for this day is that we had tacos for dinner. So I'm gonna grab a taco sticker. This one from Very Cute Designs will match perfectly. And Sunday, I already have the banana down. So I'm going to mark banana bread for breakfast.
and then I went for a walk and I finished the the book I started the day before because like I said it was a middle grade book so not very long or difficult to read that's really all I have to mark and I think I'm only going to have room for the reading tracker sticker so let's put that down and then see where we are Yeah, I'll have a little bit of space down there, but I think I can fill that just with um, these little flowers that came with the kit. And this book, I think I gave four stars. All right, so there's that. Now I gotta write the title in. Alright, and that is going to be it for this spread, so let me zoom you out and I'll show you the whole thing. There we have it. It looks so cute. I really like it. I actually haven't planned in a couple weeks, so I was kind of worried that I'd be out of practice, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm a little bit questioning my use of this yellow reading tracker, but I guess I just got caught up in the moment and didn't think too much about it. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye!